Here we are, day two on the duck impoundment, 28th. Yeah, looking down my new little stretch here, something's out of place here. That tree and that cedar are the first things that gotta go. it is to tell the clay it just looks slick and once I dig the teeth into it it's a lot harder to catch so that's kind of my indicator on how deep to pull up the sod which ain't very deep out here All right, here's day two after a couple hours. Um, I got this whole border skimmed down the clay, which that's basically gonna be the berm there. All right, and down here, this lowest spot of the whole field where water actually collected was a treasure trove of uh, halfway decent clay slash dirt. It's a lot more fine. This would still pack and hold water for a pond. I learned that in Missouri. Um, but it's still decent dirt so you can see I got a skim down right there where it's starting to shine just a little that's the clay you want to seal it off better look from up top got all the dirt piles and I don't really only have that little patch of green there to skim and it's gonna be starting to move dirt a couple pretty nice piles right there and right there down in the southwest corner to lowest spot so 
it's really ugly now it'll get better but this is going to basically be the berm right up there and looking level you could see the difference in height here i'm looking roughly straight right here so that atv is about eight foot elevation give or take maybe even nine or ten but when i look my eyeballs are looking straight a couple feet in front of it so we got to take off all that top and fill it all in down here to get close to level. <clears throat> now I'm digging back in a low spot, but I can feel this spot has more clay. It's harder to dig. An operator mentioned to me to try just skimming layers off the top rather than taking a big two foot deep dig. It's easier on the machine, so makes sense so that's what I'm doing oh yeah see I nicked something there a root or a rock one is complete I'm gonna try and hold the camera steady and spin you around but it's pretty much all skimmed what decent dirt there is that's the lowest end right now so I'm holding the camera steady and you can see on this high end now how high she goes up it's gonna be a lot of work up here on this high end 
cutting all this eight or ten feet down to bring it down. And we're gonna have to kind of gradually, obviously, slope it on that end because I don't want a straight drop off. We're gonna but... pile it all at that high end over there, and then we're gonna start cutting clay.